What's up guys, PPD here and welcome to the Boca Juniors Squad Builder for FIFA 16. I haven't done one all year and I pretty much do it every single year. So it's only right that we do it for this year, FIFA 16. And I'm actually pretty excited for this one because I feel like this is the best year Boca has ever had in terms of Ultimate Team. Because we've had two team in the seasons, we've had a hero card and we have a lot of gold cards. Now... A little uh, reminder that I should tell you guys is half of these guys aren't even at the club anymore. Uh, Osvaldo, he left. Uh, a lot of these guys are either out on loan or they completely switched teams. But what I wanted to do here was get their Boca card and build the best possible Boca team because that would be more fun than us just playing with a couple of good players and a couple of silver players. So that's why I went ahead and bought the best Boca cards in the game, put them all into a team. And we're going to see how it plays. Obviously, the reason I'm doing this is because I am a huge Boca fan. I'm actually wearing the shirt right now to play the game. But I, I can't show you guys because I don't have a webcam. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. Of course, the man that is going to score all the goals, hopefully, is going to be Tevez. The team of the season card, 91 rated. Costed me about 300,000 coins or so. Very, very pricey. And Lodeiro, well, one of those guys that isn't at the club, like I said, uh, also got a team of the season card. So... He actually went to the MLS, I think. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, uh, Osvaldo, he's not there anymore. Uh, I think all of these midfielders are still at the club. Uh, Virgini, we recently got um, from Sunderland, I believe. So he's going to be very nice to use because he's like the best defender we have right now. So that should be interesting. The reason I'm not starting the hero card, which is Monzon, is because I think the gold card Colasso is better. So that's why I'm going to start him. I'll probably sub on Monzon to see how he plays because it's always nice to play with a colored card. So let's jump into a game, see how the team plays, and hopefully all goes well. Okay, guys, sorry. Before we go into the game, I forgot to add the manager. Very important we add the manager or else the team doesn't play well. I know that's not true, but I uh, have to add the manager. It'd be disrespectful not to. Barros Esqueloto, he used to play for Boca as a player. Now uh, he's managing them. And I think he actually... Um, gets help from his brother who's a twin to help manage and a little fun fact about his manager card on fifa is when he was put into the game he wasn't the boca manager currently i think he was managing a different team so it's just a coincidence that boca now has a manager in the game because at first we didn't even have a manager in the game so now we do and uh, we're not playing too bad under him in real life so hopefully we can continue that and yeah let's go into the game now <laughs> okay guys we have found an opponent and he does have a very nice Premier League team. This is going to be tough. Oh my god, that midfield is insane. That attack is insane. And that defense, it's not insane, but it's still pretty good. And scoring against Lloris, Tevez has a big job to do. So let's do this. We're not playing at... I, actually, we are playing at home, even though we're the away team. We're playing in the Boca Stadium. You might see it in the crowd very nice stadium with a lot of history so hopefully we get a result here it's gonna be tough great save orion thought i was gonna consider it there <sighs> this is gonna be a difficult one guys i okay so he's got a corner now oh oof, we got so lucky right there i'm not sure i don't think we have any really tall center backs so winning in the air is going to be the struggle and even our goalkeeper isn't that tall so alexis is down the wing holy crap what a save from orion right there <sighs> not sure how i haven't conceded yet but we are holding on by a thread right now another corner which is scary because like i said before the height is just crazy and Tevez, what a goal, Danny Osvaldo, I, uh, I can't believe it, I don't know how we found the space right there to get a pass into Osvaldo right there, but we did, I think his both defenders went for um, Tevez right there and left an uh, open space right there for Osvaldo who opened up and somehow found the back of that, so we're winning in a game that we are not playing too well in. Osvaldo. Oh my god. 
How is Osvaldo scoring all these goals? I, I, I can't believe it. Like, he has the most average card I've ever seen for a striker. And he has scored two goals already. Meanwhile, Tevez only has an assist. This game is so confusing. I, I don't know. Great block right there. No, 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 no. Oh my! What is going on? Uh, typical FIFA right there. It gives you the false hope that you save it three times. You think you're good. Of course not. It bounces right back to him. And he puts it in the back of the net. So, a great block right there by Gago. Unfortunately, it ended up in a goal. And uh, we are back up by one. So, now we have to try and find a third over here. Oh, Gago steals it. Oh, so close right there for Tevez. Well, we head into the second half with a 2-1 lead somehow. I'm not sure how. But that man right there, who isn't even at the club anymore, has scored two goals for us. And with that, we lead. Let's take a look at the stats, actually, over here. So our opponent has had eight shots and five on targets. Uh, they weren't crazy chances he did have some good chances but nothing not all eight were good chances uh we're dominating on possession and the only reason for that is because i have to take it slower because we don't obviously have as good as players as he does and we have to watch out with what we do with the ball so that's why we have more possession but yeah let's try and get that third goal oh my Rookie defending right there. You can't get done by a fake shot if you want to win. Ah, that's just so bad. 2-0 lead blown. Oh, this is going to be a, a game. Osvaldo. Yeah, there's no way Osvaldo was going to beat Lloris from there. I can't. I can't defend his uh, attackers, dude. They're so fast. My defenders have no chance. It, it's just too hard. Oh, God. I know I probably should not have taken out the goalkeeper right there. But it was going to be a goal no matter what. There's nothing I can do. Willian is way too fast for my defenders. and I couldn't really expect much from this game. I think the 2-0 was just... A gift. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Goggle. Okay, so Tevez isn't playing well, right? But he is kind of creating the plays, which makes me wonder if playing him at cam or something like that would work better than at striker. But. It would be nice if he can get us a goal. <laughs> Wait, Tevez! No, the Edo! <laughs> no way! I thought that was Tevez. Whatever, I'll take it. Lodeiro, what a cross by Peruzzi. This could be the winner, guys. This could be the winner. Oh my god, we have won it. I am not sure how. We just played a crazy BPL team. Uh, we won. I don't, know. I don't even know. Well, overall, the team played, uh, I want to say, worse than I expected. I honestly expected way more from Tevez and Os um, Lodeiro. But then again, Osvaldo played better than I thought he would. So, does that balance it out? I don't know. Um, I know it's only one game, can't really judge, but I feel like Tevez, like I said before, would play way better at Cam. Maybe center forward, I would say Cam, center mid, something like that would be great for Tevez. But yeah, we won it somehow, 4-3. Osvaldo mounted the match, gets himself two goals somehow. Um, let's see who got, well, Gago got that really good goal that tied the game up. Lodeiro obviously got the winner, so can't give him too much uh, blame.
for playing bad. Uh, Tevez did get himself an assist. Peruzzi with the best assist, I would say, because that cross was insane. But yeah, was a little bit let down by Tevez. Honestly thought he was going to get all four goals, but it, he didn't. Anyways, guys, this is going to conclude the Boca Junior squad builder. Hope you guys enjoyed. It will be back in FIFA 17. I'm not sure if we'll have any better players than this year because t this year was pretty crazy for us. We had two team of seasons and a hero card. I know I didn't bring on Monzon, by the way. Uh, I was actually saving him for extra time. We ended up not going extra time, so that's what happened there. But anyways, guys, my name is Pippi Deed. This has been the Boca Juniors squad builder. And I'm out.